to deal with at your cocktail parties with your liberal friends tonight. Those 30 Republican governors, they represent a, majo a majority of the population of the country, believe it or not. And it's not just all New York, California, and all the other disasters in between, but those, are, those 30 Republican governors represent a majority of the population of the country. That, that's a bright spot to take away from, uh, from this last election cycle. So let's, let's remember, there's, there's a lot of like minds out there. But Jim's right, those Republican governors will tell you, it's pretty simple. It's your taxation, it's the three, it's the three TIONs. It's your taxation policy, your regulation policy, and your litigation policy. And to show that uh, your Missouri House and Senate are on the same page with a lot of these discussions today, there's a lot of bills that have already been filed in the Senate and House that deal in a positive, common sense, conservative way with tax cuts, with regulation reducers, and with litigation reformers. <laughs> and we hear about the Medicaid, the med, you know, the governor's got a big bully pulpit. So we hear every day about how Medicaid expansion, somehow dumping billions of dollars into a broken system is a job creator. I, I, there's a disconnect with me on that, probably with all of you. The biggest healthcare crisis we're, you're not hearing about because it's not being published in our local little hometown paper which will hopefully be in online format only soon, uh, and joining the rest of the dinosaur media. But the biggest healthcare crisis in our state, you may have heard about last summer, but have probably not heard about again. Jim mentioned those eight bordering states. Our state has zero medical malpractice protection for all of its healthcare providers. Our Supreme Court struck down the medical malpractice reforms that Governor Blunt put into place in 2007. Gone. So, if you're a new doctor coming out of medical school over in Kansas City, at University of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, one of the other institutions in our state, Wash U, and you're thinking about whether you should start your practice here in Missouri, which has zero protection for you from frivolous litigation of infinite damages, or whether you can drive across the state, or if you're in Kansas City, walk across State Line Road and serve under a litigation system where you have very reasonable caps on damages, where people still have access to the courts, but you know what you're getting yourself into and the medical malpractice premiums are pretty well known. Missouri's at a huge disadvantage there, huge. So that bill has been filed in both the House and the Senate. So you're gonna see a lot of these issues. Our next speaker